Bitcoin has been on a relative moonshot, with the price of Bitcoin surging over the course of the past several weeks, thus sparking the question, is it possible that the 2019 bull market has been confirmed? Have we seen what we need to see here inside the chart? Have we seen the confirmations come in? If so, is it ready to run? And if not, what are we going to need to see happen here in order to get those confirmations? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the market as a whole. Not only do I want to look at Bitcoin's chart, but I also want to look at Ethereum as well, as I believe that Ethereum is a great coin to look at as an indicator for the rest of the altcoin market. I also want to take a look at the total market cap for the altcoin market as well to really get an idea here. How does Bitcoin look for the, the total perspective of the bull market from a macro view. How do the altcoins look? How does Ethereum look, etc, etc. Ladies and gentlemen, as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right, so we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Being said, let's begin here on the, we'll start on the one day time frame. all right? So just to recap some action here, of course, ladies and gentlemen, we had our capitulation down from 6,000 with a bottom around 3,100. And now we have been on a steady uptrend. I mean, minor hiccups along the way, but we have been on a, on a staircasing pattern here since really our, our second bottom there at about 3,400. Now, we have climbed for the first time in 15 months, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in 15 months to a new higher high. As you can see here, outlined by these downward pointing arrows for the past 15 months, ladies and gentlemen, it has been nothing but lower high after lower high after lower high. That is a distinguishing characteristic of a bear market, not only here in Bitcoin, but across many other assets and charts as well. So we first broke this higher high for the first time in 15 months, bullish confirmation number one. Then we actually took out the highest of the lower highs all the way down on this first reaction rally from the capitulation, right? That was our high. That was the best high we had all throughout this range. We broke that too, ladies and gentlemen. And now this old resistance box should, per technical classical analysis theory. Wow, I botched that. Per classical technical analysis theory, this old resistance box should in theory now become new support, right? So we are ping-ponging off of a resistance box right now. As we can see, this red box is characterized here by these wicks and the consolidation upon that capitulation breakdown. We have been respecting this area nearly to the T right now, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look at how pinpoint accurate that is compared to the wicks over on the side here. Uh, and that, in my opinion, is a result not only of, of savvy human traders, but the bots doing their magic as well. These bots have really loved to play the wicks, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've noticed the wicks have been played way more than candle bodies. So I am paying attention to the wicks right now. But let's get into the action here, all right? So we are trading now within a 13% range. This whole range to me is no man's land, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are, for the first time, looking to create levels of support and resistance throughout. Uh, as we can clearly see, this whole range has been pretty parabolic, if you want to be 
quite frank about it. Uh, you know, there hasn't really been much sideways action. If you want to see the sideways action, we actually have to go into the smaller time frames. But it's relatively just been pretty parabolic throughout. Uh, if we go into the four hour here, we had our initial one thousand dollar candle to the upside. Boom, pullback consolidated for only 12 hours, ladies and gentlemen, very little consolidation here, then a rip, then a huge monstrous doji candle to wick longs out, wick shorts out, get back to business and move higher. Where we stand right now is, is a little bit risky, ladies and gentlemen. We have confirmed a double top here, right? We've, we've stuck in a high which matches our prior and we have been rejected. But once again, once again, is Bitcoin looking to test higher here in the micro trend? What we have to keep an eye on right now, ladies and gentlemen, is is Bitcoin going to break up and into the next channel, which is right above this red box, right? The top of this red box is 540 excuse me, 5,440 here on the Coinbase chart. In my opinion, if Bitcoin can break through this with volume, uh, this is going to be another range, just like the one we're in now, which doesn't have much resistance anywhere in it, thus making it easier to get up into the next resistance range. And for me, ladies and gentlemen, the next resistance range is this green box I have here. But the green box is green, not red, because for me, that would be a long target, right? So for me, it would be a break above this box with the first target being about a 6% move to the upside from there if it does in fact get through with an overshot moonshot potential of about 15% to the upside. On the contrary, ladies and gentlemen, if we do in fact have a double tapenacci right here, double tapenacci don dada, tell your wife, tell your father, it's time to get this crypto and get rejected back down into this channel here, back down below the red box of resistance. My friends, uh, on the contrary, I believe this could be one of our first large ping pongs inside this range. And as you guys know, if you are subscribed here, I've been really elaborating on how I believe the potential ping pong action in here is going to set up for some immense trading opportunity. Don't feel bad if you missed this candle here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I, I've seen so many people crying about this candle. Oh, I missed it. Oh, Kirby, oh. You have to understand that this candle took place in a very, very short amount of time. We were trading under key resistance in a, in a bearish macro structure where we had failed to create a higher high for 15 months on end. So it's very difficult to have taken a position long underneath a higher high in a bearish structure. So don't feel bad, right? You just have to understand that this market provides infinite opportunity. There's always going to be another trade if you're looking to take one. You just have to be patient. You have to look for high reward, low risk trade setups. Prepare yourself and get this crypto. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be keeping my VIPs up to date in absolute real time with every single trade I make, uh, every entry, every exit, every take profit, every strategy, every insight, etc. I post it for you in real time in VIP. I will see you in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. I'm looking for my next trade right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to dive more into the uh, bearish side of this right now, just to make it clear why I don't think it has to be a straight rip to this level. But uh, you guys can see if we break above here, uh, I see that there's going to be a lot of opportunity. You best believe I'm going to be trading it absolutely aggressively. I will be posting my trades in real time in VIP. And if we do in fact break below here, get confirmations uh, that we are going to break further to the downside, in my opinion, you guys can see the juicy range we're in here as well. Uh, we're, we're at the precipice of a, of a large break up or break down, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that there has been over exuberance here from the bulls, so it would not surprise me for a bearish retest downwards. Although, what we also have to understand is that we are in a 15-month bear market, right? Uh, the thing is, is that 
the overall bias in this market right now is bearish. So the thing is, is it's only natural that bears would get a little bit uh, arrogant at these levels, right? To say the least, uh, that they believe it must go down, right? It must. And I know, ladies and gentlemen, many of these moon boys, these moon boy Montgomery's, poop coin Patrick's, they all call me Kirby the Perma Bear. You're just a permanent bear, Kirby. Permanent bear. Let me tell you something, James. Let me tell you something, Joe. Uh, I have not been shorting this region, although we have tested uh, this resistance box twice. I am not a permanent bear. I'm ready to play up. I'm ready to play down. I'm a permanent savage. I'm an unbiased, unemotional swing trader. I do not permanently believe the market is going down. I do not permanently believe the market is going up. I understand that the market inhales and exhales, in and out. It's going to flow in both directions. I profit off the swings. I don't profit off buying and hodling, hoping, making a wish, calling up the psychic hotline, asking Madame to rub the crystal ball and tell me her vision. That is not how I trade, ladies and gentlemen. I let the technical analysis tell me where the high reward, low risk trade setups are. I let the charts tell me when I'm going to make my entry and take my profit. And I let the charts tell me when it's time to get this crypto. It's, it's a game of statistics and probabilities, ladies and gentlemen. That is how I trade. And that is a type of trading I do and post for my VIPs. I will see you in VIP right now. But let's get into the bearish things here, okay? We'll go into the four hour time frame real quick. Uh, I want to pull up the RSI. Just something I've noticed here, ladies and gentlemen, the RSI does appear to be in a tentative head and shoulders pattern, which is per classical technical analysis theory, a bearish pattern. Uh, and the confirmation that I'd be looking for here is to match up with the right shoulder here and then ultimately break down below the neckline here. Uh, and really, if we want to get even lower on that, it would look something like that, uh, which would be a break underneath 60, really, about 60 uh, if you want to be a stickler, maybe just under 60 if, you, if you're looking to wait that long for a confirmation. Uh, for me, it's this neckline or a break below here uh, would signal to me that we may be due for a correction, right? Down back into oversold territory for a bounce. Now, of course, that is just speculation, right? But the reason that I'm showing that is because of the other bearish factors here that we are right now inside the resistance box, right? We do have the tentative double top of right? One, two, inside that resistance range. We have been extremely overbought on the RSI for quite some time. Uh, if we switch over to the daily, again, the NVT here has flipped red, ladies and gentlemen, which has historically been a dump metric over and over again, over and over again, with 100% accuracy throughout Bitcoin's history. Uh, but as we've been discover, uh, discovering, as we've been discussing here uh, over the past several streams, if you are subscribed, for me, I'm looking for it to break this upward trend line before I start to give it any merit that a serious dump may come in. But that may coincide with the RSI pattern. That may also coincide with the rejection point. But this is this is a lagging indicator. It generally takes some time. It's better to see it on the BLX chart. But as you can see, just something like this, right? We had our multiple touch points of the support line here. It wasn't until it broke out of this trend line, couldn't get back above, then it dumped, right? Um, but I actually, ladies and gentlemen, want to right now look at Ethereum and look at the crypto total market cap of just the altcoins uh, to show some startling things I see here that maybe these moon boys are getting a little too exuberant, uh, or maybe it's time to truly just crush these resistances uh, and, and send us to the promised land, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe there is enough juice in the tank to push us through these levels. Maybe it is time to confirm the 2019 bear market. Bull market, rather. Sheesh. Just so used to saying bear market. Crazy. Crazy. But if you are just tuning in now, don't forget to moon up the likes. Moon them up. 
smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell. Let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on the crypto total market cap, excluding Bitcoin. So this is roughly just all of the altcoins that are on uh, coin market cap, right? So you could see just like with Bitcoin, I have a large resistance box drawn here, right? Uh, and what I want, this is the, the daily time frame. Let's actually go to the weekly right now. Uh, we can clearly see, ladies and gentlemen, that we are getting rejected right at the old level that we would expect, right? And this is old support becoming new resistance. I mean, that is as clear as day right there. We also tentatively may have had a volume climax. Volume climaxes are indicative of tops. I mean, it doesn't have to be, and there's no way to know uh, if we're not going to continue higher as we have been continuing higher throughout the past several weeks, months rather. So you you know, it doesn't have to be that this is the climax, but if we do start to see leveling off here and then, and then something like this, uh, that would be indicative of a top to me, but let's not focus on that for right now. What I want to focus on is why I've chopped this into two parts in here. You guys see, I have the white heart line through the middle, right? And the reason for that, ladies and gentlemen, is that I am giving more credit to just this side of the zone. Although this whole cluster is fair game for rejection territory, I'm personally leaning towards more so if we can break through this level here at about, uh, let's see what it is. Uh, it's, it's, it's tough to see the numbers, so I just have to chart it here. Uh, it would be the total market cap as a whole I'd have to look at here. Uh, let's actually go to the total market cap real quickly. It would more so be, this includes Bitcoin now, but it would more so be about 205 billion. As you can see here, we are at only 183 right now at the time of recording. And I, I just wanted to show the total number because that's what you see on coin market cap. It includes Bitcoin. So I wanted to use that number, but for the charting purposes right now, I am going to use the, just the altcoins. Okay. So here we are back here to me, if we can get above this level, which is roughly just over 200 billion if you include bitcoin i'm actually believing that that could become a new support area ladies and gentlemen and we could look to potentially uh you know really move up into this region here if this area were to break just kind of like bitcoin where there's these gaps right uh more so for me ladies and gentlemen if we break up into that territory i'd be more so looking at, at targets up in this vicinity, looking to potentially test this consolidation zone next, which would be a huge, huge increase. As we could see, just even to the bottom of these wicks here, it would be a roughly 30% plus increase in the total market cap. Savage, heinous, and a borderline ugh, monstrosity of a move, if you do in fact ask me. Uh, but there is a, a thing of concern here for me on the weekly RSI, ladies and gentlemen. As we can see here, we've clearly been rejected at this level that we're about to test up on twice already, right? Uh, it, and obviously, if we do extend this line over as well, we can see that this was, in fact, old support, which then became new resistance, got rejected twice, and now we are coming up upon this area once again, coming up upon that area once again, and it just so happens to coincide that we are in a resistance box right now uh, at an area where for me personally we would expect to see the largest probability of rejection if we are going to in fact get rejected also the fact that we may have potentially volume climaxed here on the weekly time frame just keep that in mind because i'm going to go over to ethereum now uh, that to me is the leading altcoin it does have a good metric of gauging where the altcoin market can go, etc. So now that we are over here on Ethereum, uh, what I want to show you guys here is that we were traveling in a tentatively bullish ascending triangle pattern, right? Uh, the thing is, is that it's a little difficult because of the fact that our resistance was so close here, right? 
we do have the pattern, but the, the thing is, is that where was the breakout going to be? Was it going to just end right here? And it's very possible, as you guys can see, I haven't moved this resistance box. I had it right at the bottom of the old support, and we have been getting rejected literally right at the line right there. But just like Bitcoin as well, if we are to break into the, this next channel, if we are to see some bullish continuation here, for me, I'm looking at a target zone of the top of this consolidation, which at a minimum is almost 19%, uh, and near the top is more like 31% plus. Savage. Savage. Now, these are just speculative targets for me if we break through. But once again, there does happen to be so some problems here. Let's, let's go into the RSI here now. Remove this. Just like the total crypto cap, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I wanted to show that first. We see old support here on the RSI, many touch points, right? One, two, three, four times old support, then retests as old, excuse me, new resistance. I'm getting tongue tied here. Four touches of support, then the line gets broken. We test up, get rejected, and plunge deep down into the crypto abyss. And now for the first time since then, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking to come up on that area right now. And for me, it may in fact coincide with a break up into this channel and a potential test of this area here. Uh, does it have to be up there? No. The way that the RSI works, it could fall anywhere in here. And, and truthfully, ladies and gentlemen, anywhere in here is fair rejection for a correction in my opinion. But uh, until that level is really reached, I mean, we are currently at 51 on the weekly. That level appears to be at 55 on the weekly. So roughly about a 10% move in the RSI up to the region of prior rejection. Uh, we could see a fair move in the price there, ladies and gentlemen. So the thing for me is that I do see potential for Ethereum to run a bit higher. Uh, right now, I'm looking for high reward, low risk trade setups on Ethereum as well. I'm ready to get this crypto. I will be keeping you up to date in VIP with my trades here in real time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the, the trends right now are setting up for fireworks. You see it. I've outlined everything here for you all in terms of Bitcoin, the total crypto cap, and now Ethereum here. You see why I believe there is potentially life-changing trading opportunity looming in the shadows. Are you going to be the one that gets crushed in this market, or are you going to be the one that does the crushing? Right now, I have the battle helmet on, the mud boots, and the trench coat, and I'm ready to get this crypto. Grandma's got the oven preheating, ladies and gentlemen. The cookies are ready to get got. And Don Don Carbonaccio is going to be the one piling in the cookies, ladies and gentlemen, because right now I see that there are large, large gaps looming not only here on Bitcoin, on Ethereum, but in the total market as a whole. And right now, things are looking very juicy. Are we going to get these confirmations that come in Settle upon these things, create new supports, and look to break out to the upside? Or are we just going to get another rejection, another decline in price and continuation of the bear market? For me right now, I'm awaiting the confirmations. Uh, I'm sure the trolls, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Kirby, you're always waiting for confirmations. That is trading, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is how you trade, is you chart and get confirmations to confirm your uh, speculative idea, right? Uh, so for me, right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm watching this with an eagle eye. I see large, potentially life-changing opportunity to both the upside and the downside here as we've really come into a critical territory here in 2019, where we're either going to have to confirm that this bull market is going to sustain and rage on throughout 2019, or get rejected and send us down into the perils of the crypto abyss. 
I will be keeping you updated in real time with my trades, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready to crush this market. If life-changing trading opportunity does in fact present itself, you best believe Don Don Carbonaccio is going to be striking upon it like a cobra out of the grass. I'm ready to get this crypto. Are you? I will see you in VIP right now, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to my VIPs. Guys, if you could, one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell. Let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. Share it with a friend, ladies and gentlemen. Share it with a friend. Because we will be here in crypto land until the very end. Let's get this crypto. <laughs> Guys, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs. And until next time, my friends, be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.